Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome to another video and in today's video I am going to be sharing with you guys some standalone books that I have as paperbacks that I would like to reread. Mixture of, you know, whether they're favourites, whether I just can't remember anything about the book. So I'm either reading it because I really, really want to read it because I know that I enjoyed it the first time or I'm reading it because I can't really remember like too much about it um, but I know that I either liked it or maybe I'm giving it a second chance, that sort of thing. I'm going to be doing several videos around these because I have a shitload of books that I would like to reread, whether they're standalones or paperbacks, hardbacks, series, that sort of thing. So today's video is going to contain the standalone paperbacks and I've got actually quite a lot right next to me that I would like to get through with you today. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first book I'm going to talk about today is On the Fence by Casey West. I really, really enjoyed this book and I love all of Casey West's books. She is a phenomenal author, brilliant with her contemporaries, but I don't remember too much about this book. I just remember at the time when I read it a few years ago, that I really, really enjoyed it. And I gave it five out of five Kit Kats and I just want to reread it again one because I really really enjoyed it and two just to re remember everything that went on and normally when I'm rereading books I'm just like oh yeah I do remember this that happened and it does spark my memory again like you know if you're a reader that's thorough like myself like we read a lot of books so therefore we do forget some storylines and this is why we reread so people don't have a lot of time to do that or they don't really want to so they go onto websites where they get spoiled and the things that go on in the books but I just want to relive those moments and times where I absolutely love and adored the books which is why I just want to reread it all over again but yeah can't wait to give this a reread at some point and yeah I just remember really really enjoying it and um, yeah I just look forward to loving it all over again. The next standalone paperback that I have here is Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. This was made into a movie and I actually really enjoyed the movie to this um, as well but I absolutely loved this book. I read this book when it was an e arc. I read it before release and I loved it loads and then I, a couple of years ago, managed to get hold of the physical copy of it and now that I've got the physical copy I do kind of want to reread it all over again and I pretty much like know what happens in the storyline but I just want to reread it because I absolutely loved it and it's been a few years since I've read it so that's one reason why I just want to give it a read and oh, I just love it all over again. I just remember just falling in love with this book and hopefully I can enjoy it the second time around. This is what I have here. My name is Rapunzel by Casey Hilton. Now Casey Hilton was a booktuber here. I don't actually know what Casey is doing these days. Um, this was like a fair few years ago when I was living with my nan that I got given this book because I was um, sort of like reading and reviewing it and being on like the blog tour and the, um, the train of reading it with other people. This I remember this is literally about like Rapunzel but the story is like kind of different to the story that you know about Rapunzel. The cover is absolutely gorgeous but I just want to give it a reread again because I really enjoyed it the first time around and um, just for sentimental reasons as well. I mean it's been a few years I would like to get around to reading it again so if you like your fairy tales this is a brilliant book to read and yeah look forward to giving this a reread again soon. Again I say again soon but I don't know when I'm gonna read these books let's be honest. Next what I have here Ellen and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Now I remember when I read this I remember not liking the ending to this and quite a lot of people sort of kind of agreed and then other lot of people were like well it's kind of like realistic that's like what happens sometimes. So I kind of want to reread this like a few years on and see what I think. Like will I agree with how I agreed a few years ago or will I go with the other thing? Like it's, it's just interesting this was the first Rainbow Row book that I've ever read and um, everyone was like raving about it and then I was just like I didn't enjoy the ending to this and I think I gave it at the time of four out of five Kit Kats so I just want to give it a reread just to see if my views have changed and I always find it's really interesting when we do reread books like a few years on the line because there's been a couple of books that I have reread like after a few years and I've changed my viewings so it's quite interesting like for example when I first read Saga the graphic novel series I rated them like three out of five Kit Kats I've literally like been rereading them this year 
and I've given them five out of five Kit Kats. It's like my mental state has changed. It's it's interesting how opinions just mature or deteriorate, whichever. So yeah, so I would like to see how I feel about this book when I get around to rereading it. Next one I have here, My Life Next Door by Honey Fitzpatrick. When I first read this, I absolutely loved and adored it. I was very obsessed with it. And now coming along, I just know that I loved it, but I don't remember anything about it. So that's purely just why I just want to reread it. I want to get back into it. I want to like, remember like why I love this book so much and hopefully that I still do love it so much. Um, so yeah, real brilliant summary sort of book. And um, yeah, awesome contemporary. Next one I have, Can't Look Away by Donna Kuna. This, if I remember, is like a real good book that is um, pretty much like about like bullying. I remember when I read it, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, so it's a tree about this girl who has this YouTube channel and things like going on about like her sister's death and she's blamed and I don't know, things like that. So she gets kind of like bullied. Um, I remember this being um, one of those sort of like anti-bully reads um, to read and um, I actually really, really enjoyed this book. Um, so I just want to give it a read again just to sort of like remember everything that happened and um, then I can sort of like deter it. I think this was one of those books that I was sort of thinking do I want to reread it again to see if I want to keep this book? Is this a sort of book that I want to read again and again and again or should I like pass this one on? And this was one that I was a bit unsure on so this is why this is in the reread pile. Next one I have Skin Deep by Laura Jarrett. I love this book. I remember loving it and I know this is about this girl and her face is literally like scarred um, and it's literally about her rebuilding her life. Now that's all I remember, I remember doing a review on it and loving it but I just want to reread it again because I loved it the first time around and also I don't remember too much about this book so like a mixture of both reasons but yeah looking forward to seeing how I feel about it the next time around. I know this is quite a deep contemporary at the time. Next one I have here, The Boy is Back by Meg Cabot. I literally can't remember this book. I know it's told in sort of like multimedia, so you've got like emails, messages, text messages, that sort of thing. And I just want to give it another read again because I literally just can't remember anything. And I can't even remember why I rated it. Like it's just, that for some reason, this book is just a big blur in my mind, but it's Meg Cabot and she's one of my favorite authors. So I just want to give it a reread and just see what I think about this book even now. These next few books are by the same author, the first of which is Without Merit by Colleen Hoover. Now I have loved and adored all of her books that I've read by her so far and I've given them all five out of five kickouts, just like with Casey West. But Without Merit, I can't remember like anything about it. Um, I just, even like sort of, yeah, I just, I literally just can't remember this book. I just remember loving it, but for some reason, everything about this book and everything that happened is a big blur. And I don't know why, because I love and absorb all of Colleen Hoover's books. So that's why this is on the reread list. I want to give it another reread. And then it'd be interesting to be like, oh yeah, I remember it now all of a sudden. Um, but yeah, if I, you know, just me holding this book now, I could not even begin to tell you what this book is about. Next of all, I have November 9 by Colin Hoover. And I know this is about two people uh, called Fallon and Ben. And I feel like they're, it's always like, like they meet on November 9 and then they sort of like meet on the same day. And that's all I can sort of like kind of remember about this. But again, I remember really, really enjoying this book and you know, the details are very, very hazy and that's another reason why I would like to reread this book. Then I have Ugly Love by Colin Hoover, which I know they were making into a movie. I don't even know if they did, um, but this I know is about this guy called Miles and he, he is like one of those interesting characters that's like dark and mysterious. That's all I kind of can't remember about this. Um, so that's another reason why I want to reread it. And also if they do make the movie, I want to like see if I can find it online or like find it somewhere where I can like watch it um, after I give this book a reread again. Um, but I remember really, really enjoying this book um, when I read it. And finally, I have probably like my favorite book of Colleen Hoover, which was actually my first book by her. And it's definitely a brilliant book um, as a first book to read by her and that's maybe someday. This I know is a brilliant book. This is about a girl called Sydney and about a guy called Ridge and he is deaf 
I believe. So there's brilliant like disability rep in this and I love this book and also in this book um, because there's music in it like there's lyrics like all over the book and I just remember it being such a brilliant adventure to read and I I just love this book like when I first read it and it's been so long since I read it I, I literally it's been years since I read this book and I've got such an urge to give it a read again I mean I think it was like six years ago maybe when I read it I remember reading it near enough when it first came out I think and I'm just like oh yeah just I can't wait to go reread like this one I'm literally the most excited for this next book is one of my all-time favorite books and it literally hit that list as soon as I read it but I can't remember a lot because I've only read it once I read it a few years ago but I know it's on my favorite list and it's due a reread so that is I've got your number by Sophie Kinsella brilliant brilliant story and it's literally about this guy who drops his phone in a bin and this girl like picks it up and thus begins this sort of relationship between these two people over this phone he just discovers that she's got it and then yeah they they spark up this um real good connection between and they just sort of like have a conversations and yeah it's just it's real it's really cute it's brilliant it's a fantastic story and it makes me want to read Sophie Kinsella's other books and I loved this book so so much totally recommend it and it like I say it's due a reread next of all I've got here me and Mr J by Rachel McIntyre this one I read like five years ago I think and um I was was it five years ago yes because I was 25 and I went to the Electric Monkeys first ever like blogger meetup in London and I actually met Rachel there and she gave me a present and I was like oh my goodness she's awesome she's a lovely lovely person this is her first ever day with your novel and it's really about this relationship between a student and a teacher me and Mr J and oh my god this book is like deep and it, you just feel the emotion she's brilliant i mean for a debut novel this was fantastic and i'm due a reread for this as well like i say it's been a few years i know it was so good when i first read it i can still remember just me being like oh yeah this book is like obsessed like i was obsessed um so yeah i just want to give it another reread oh yeah can't wait next of all i have what happens next by connie clayton which i only read like a year or so ago and I really really enjoyed this to the point where I want to give it another reread I really 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 enjoyed this book and I want to give it another reread so it's fresh in my mind because I just I just really really enjoyed it and I just want to yeah just want to give it a go again and oh yeah this this book was really good and I just want to already give it another reread. Next of all I have another Casey West book here, The Distance Between Us. Again this book I don't really remember. I think this was like possibly the first or the second book that I read. Like Between On The Fence and this book like they were the first and second books that I read by her. But I don't really remember like a lot but I just remember absolutely loving this book which is another reason why this is on my list. I just I just want to remember everything that went on and just love this book all over again. Next of all I have Frigid by Jennifer Armstrong. Um, this is where Jennifer Armitrout writes as Jay Lynn. She did some new doll books and this is one of them. I love this book, it's like a real sort of like Christmassy um, and this was um, a new adult book that is just, it's really really good and it's literally about these two, they're, uh, they're like these two friends and the guy is very very protective over her. and. Oh man, I just I just loved it. I mean Jennifer Armstrong is a brilliant author anyway. And her new adult books are just like to die for and I just want to give it a reread because I loved it so much the first time around. I was just completely obsessed with it and I just can't wait to read this all over again. Next of all I have Amy Rogers Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. Love the cover to this book. I read this a few years ago. I remember discussing it on Booktube actually with a couple of old booktubers. This is the tree about Amy and Roger and they go on this 
like tour around they have to go from like one place to another amy is sort of um uh, i know she's like down about something and roger's sort of like there as the transport so um thus starts this sort of like um, friendship where they go on a sea tour they stop off at places and the really cool thing is you get to see um, things of like where they stop off and they get like they draw pictures they take notes and all that and it's just like it's really really cool and um, it's a brilliant brilliant story if you love your road trip novels it's brilliant and I just want to give it another reread because it's been so long since I read it but I know it's just a really really good book this is what I have Zachariah by AJ Bess this is if I remember it's like by an Australian author um, and this is a really, really good story um, that is literally about two characters called Zach and Mia. And I, I can't remember like, too much about it, but I remember comparing it to The Fort in Our Stars. I remember literally comparing this to Fort in Our Stars saying it's absolutely brilliant. And it's very, very moving, it's very, very touching. And I haven't read it in such a long time, so I want to give it another rubies to remember it all again i know it's a deeply hitting book if i definitely compared it to support of our stars it's definitely deep and meaningful but yeah can't wait to give it another reread next of all i have unravel by Callie reed this is a new adult novel that is a true about this girl and she is in this sort of like mental hospital place like thing i read this a fair few years ago um and she she has like she has like one visitor it's quite a strange visitor and this is like trigger warning for abuse and oh my goodness yeah it's just this blew me away I did not expect the twist there's a big twist in this book I did not expect that twist coming um, I did have a friend that did um, expect it but I I'm a very oblivious person. I was just enjoying it so much that I was just like, what? When it happened. But it's a really good book. I don't know of a lot of people that talk about this book. But it's like one of my favourite new adult books like ever. And it's a brilliant standalone book. And I just want to give it a reread because it's been so long. And I want to see like, even though I kind of know the twist, I just want to see how I feel about it. Like. The next time around and lastly in this video i've got here sweet thing by Rene colino again this was the book that i didn't read that too long ago i just want to reread it again because i remember really really enjoying it again it's another new adult book but i loved it and um i i can't remember too much about it i know it wasn't that long ago that i read it but i just want to dive into it again and um yeah hopefully i can enjoy it like the next time around and um yeah we'll see we'll see what i think about it um but yeah i just remember loving it the first time around i just want to see what i think about it when i do reread it and that is the end of my part one of this several part series i don't know how many it's going to be yet because there are so many it might be that i'll have to split up my series because there's so many series here if it ends up getting like too long i might have to split it up so these are just the standalone paperbacks that i would like to read as you can see some of them are my favorites but the majority of them, I just can't remember a lot that what happened. I just remember when I read it the first time, I absolutely loved and enjoyed them. So reading them a second time around would just be another enjoyment for me. But yeah, I'm very excited to eventually get around to rereading them. And I know that when I'm feeling very slumpish, I do like to pick up a book that I would like to reread. So these are like the perfect choices to do. And I know that my rereads list has grown. Um, ever since like I just look at my red books and then I'm like oh I would love to reread that again or I'm just like oh you know what I can't remember that you know that sort of thing so yeah so these are just my standalone paperbacks I would like to reread when I can get around to reading them let me know down below in the comments if you have read any of these books or if you've got any of the books on your TBR then I definitely recommend for you to read them because I can tell you now the majority of these books I did give five out of five Kit Kats. I love them, I devoured them, they are absolutely brilliant. But if there's any particular you think like, hey, you should reread that again soon, or I want you to reread that so that I can see your views on it, you know, if you're really intrigued to see my opinion on it, like a few years on or whatever, then let me know down below. Let me know some books that you are also wanting to reread as well, especially like your standalone books down below in the comments. 
all of my social media links as always are linked down below in the description if you'd like to follow me elsewhere twitter goodreads instagram it's all there for you i love making bookish friends let me know how you're doing down below in the comments comment about anything let's start conversation i love making bookish friends and any videos you'd like to see me doing let me know down below as well but that's it for me guys keep smiling keep reading be happy and most importantly stay safe my name is katie and i'll see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video Bye!